Hello, I am Dr. Kantesh, currently serving as Assistant Professor in the Department of MBA, Maharani's Women's Commerce and Management College, Mysuru. In this session, I am indeed glad to have a discussion on Forex market, that is Foreign Exchange Market. The main purpose of this discussion is to help commerce and management students in understanding various concepts of foreign exchange market. The flow of my presentation includes introduction to forex market, meaning of forex market, functions of forex market, types of forex market which covers spot transactions and uh, forward transactions that is spot market and forward market. Let us start our discussion with introduction to forex market. The forex market is oldest financial market in the world. The foreign exchange market is also called as forex, fx or currency market. The forex market is decentralized market as there are many trading centers around the world. It means that there is no any one specific place to conduct trading activities in currencies. The forex market is OTC based market. It means that the transactions in this market take place through telephones and there is uh, no any specified exchange like uh, BAC, NSC, NYSC, NASDAQ etc. Mainly the transactions takes place between two parties like uh, two banks, two different banks or a bank and uh, an individual etc. The forex market mainly allows for determination of uh, exchange rates for every pair of currencies. The main reason why the currencies are traded at different uh, rates here is that the forces of demand and supply which decides the exchange rates for every pair of currency. In terms of uh, trading volume, the forex market is the largest and most liquid financial market in the world which works 24 hours a day closing only on weekends. The average daily transactions in forex market has increased from 5.1 trillion US dollar in April 2016 to 6.6 .6 trillion US dollars in April 2019 as per the report of BIS that is Bank for International Settlements. The forex market trading hours as I mentioned earlier that the forex market works 24 hours a day closing only on weekends. The market mainly start from Sydney then it moves to Tokyo, London and it closes in New York. The forex market opens at 5 pm Eastern Standard Time on Sunday and ends or closes at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. The main reason why this market is open 24 hours a day is that there are many trading centers around the world. Then the major ones are Sydney, Tokyo, London and New York. When one market closes, other one opens. And sometimes there are parallel markets also like Sydney and Tokyo as both opens and closes with just two hours difference. It means that at any given time there is at least one market open for trading in currencies. Hence we term this market as market which works for 24 hours a day. The global forex market has uh, two segments or two tires. The first one is interbank 
market this segment is biggest one as there are larger volume of transactions take place in this segment though there are a few members but the volume of transactions they create is enormous the banks that are involved in this segment are jp morgan chase city bank bank of america merrill lynch goldman sachs and so on the second segment of global forex market is over the counter market that is otc market in this market mainly corporate firms and individuals are involved though they are large in number their volume of transaction is lesser as compared to interbank market the biggest otc trading center in the world is london which accounts 43.1% of the global forex market transactions as reported in april 2019 the meaning of forex market the forex market is not a physical place as such it is a system or virtual market where buying and selling of various countries currencies take place through phone and electronic communication networks that is ecn for example i want to travel to new york and i need 1000 us dollar so from where i can buy us dollar against uh, indian rupees i approach any of the forex dealers in mysore there are so many forex dealers in mysore like uh, sbi canara bank centrum i just buy 1000 us dollar at the rate of 76.18 plus their commission so in this transaction i can buy us dollar just by or phone or through any of the electronic communication networks that is what we call forex market as otc market next uh, uh, we will discuss about the functions of forex market the main functions of forex markets are transfer function credit function and hedging function the first one is uh, transfer function the basic function of forex market is to facilitate the conversion of one currency into another currency that is to accomplish transfer of purchasing power between two countries so this transfer of purchasing power is done through variety of credit instruments such as telegraphic transfer bank drops and foreign bills and the second one is uh, credit function the credit function of forex market is mainly to provide credit to promote international trade bills of exchange with maturity period of 3 months are generally used for international payments credit is required for this period in order to help uh, importers to take possession of goods sell them and obtain money to pay off the bill the next one is uh, hedging function when exporters and importers enter into an agreement to sell and buy goods on some future date at a current prices and exchange rates that is called as hedging the main purpose of hedging is to avoid losses that might be caused due to exchange rate variations in the future for that the forward contracts are used the next we will discuss about uh, the types of uh, forex market there are mainly two types of uh, forex markets the first one is uh, spot market and the second one is uh, forward market 
So first we will discuss uh, about the spot market. What happens in the spot market and what is actually the spot market is. So in this market forex transactions are executed immediately. It means that the receipts and payments related to forex transaction that is buying and selling of currency take place immediately or on spot or right now. The rate at which payment and receipts takes place is called as spot rate. For example, the spot rate between US dollar and Indian rupees today is 76.29. It means that to buy 1 US dollar I have to pay rupees 76.29 today. Here the settlement takes place immediately. It means that I pay 76.29 rupees and receive 1 US dollar. And the next type of uh, forex market is forward market. So in this market sale and purchase of forex currency is settled as per the future date. It means on a specified future date. The price at which buying and selling of uh, foreign currency is decided today that is what uh, we call it is a pre-decided price. The price at which the currency is bought or sold in the future is decided today. So which we termed it as the pre-decided price. The rate at which foreign currency is bought or sold in future date is called as forward exchange rate. The forward market mainly facilitates to avoid risk that may emerge due to fluctuations in currency rates in the future. For example, an importer buying today 10,000 US dollar worth goods from US and the payment is due on 30th June 2020. So in this case what I can do? Today US dollar and INR rate is 76.29 rupees and uh, he is uh, unsure it means the importer is unsure about the rate on 30th june 2020 he is supposed to pay uh, i mean he has to make payment on 20, 30th june 2020 but the transaction is taking place today hence he gets into forward market I mean forward contract he gets into with bank or any of the forex dealer to buy 10,000 US dollars at the rate of 77.075. It means this is the ask rate which is quoted for 30th June 2020 mainly to avoid exchange rate risk in the future. So this is what happens in forward market. So we are uh, end of our uh, discussion now. So far we covered uh, discussions related to introduction to forex market, meaning of forex market and uh, functions of forex market, types of forex market. I believe that this discussion was useful to you. Shall you have any queries, please feel free to drop the same in the comment box below and I will answer them. Thank you so much for patient listening and have a great day.